Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto. Today with my IHOP mug. This week I thought I would get back into life. Um, Ukraine. Um, I've been avoiding talking about it because I I can't. It's it's so awful. Um, but I thought I would talk about like people's reactions here. Um, first and like most obvious on the news, um, the Prime Minister said they would take refugees. I still haven't seen anything come of that, but that was a huge thing because Japan often does not say they will take any or just very, very, very few refugees. So that was great. Um, I hope it changes for other countries in the future. Um, but um, everyone's reaction has been amazing. I have had students, I have a student who um, has a friend in the Ukraine and they went around and they got a flag signed to send with everyone's support messages. Um, I asked her, you know, if she thought that the flag would get there and she said, I don't know, but I have to try. Um, there were people, um, doing charities, raising money. There was a march in Osaka and a march here in Kyoto. Um, people care and people are speaking out. I can only hope that as other crises like this happen in the future, people realize that, oh yeah, you know, we don't protest as much for other people in other places, so maybe we should think about that. Um, Ukraine and Russia are, you know, I think Russia being so close to Japan, um, people think about it a lot. There are a lot of Russian people and Ukrainian people who live here in Japan, and um, it's been interesting. I, I don't know I don't know anything about the world, and it's, it's been wild, but um, my hearts go out to everyone. I can't. I feel awful for Ukraine and everyone who is there, and I wish we could do more. Um, I sent money to Chef Andres and um, World Central Kitchen, which I think is a great charity. Um, there's lots of other charities, though, you can find that are supporting people. But I also feel bad for like people stuck in Russia who don't support this war. And, or who don't even know why this war is being fought or what is going on. The disinformation that just has to be coming out of everywhere. Um, it is a crazy time to think about disinformation and the lack of freedom of speech. Like, it's awful. Ugh. But um, the reaction here has been positive and for Ukraine. Um, in support of Ukraine. I've seen a lot of um, blue and yellow. People wearing blue and yellow. People having blue and yellow hair ties. People having blue and yellow pens and small flags that they've been carrying around. So I think it's activating a lot of people and they feel passionate about the situation. I guess we can all only hope for the best and support charities that we can. I don't know what else to do. Alright, everybody have a great day. And I will talk with you later. And, um, yeah. Enjoy your morning, and I hope you're safe wherever you are in the world. Thank you. Man. My brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto, so I could at least think. 